Hello friends, welcome back to the last of Skyward Sword. I'm Paladin, and I play video games, and I also commentate them for your enjoyment. I commentate above the gutter, as I seek to talk without any swearing or crude talk, no gutter speak, I don't do that here, and for the last 65 episodes of Skyward Sword, I haven't done that, and this episode I'm not doing it either. I'm proud of the fact that I've never swore on this channel, and I'm going to continue doing that for years to come. Now, the last 65 episodes has been a wild ride as I've struggled to figure out how to get this whole LP business down, and I've learned a lot, and you guys have been with me every single step of the way. I've really appreciated it. Today is the finale of Skyward Sword. Today we're going to be battling all of the bosses in chronological order. And I'm going to begin the best time I can so that you guys can try and compare your best times with me. Obviously I'm probably not going to be breaking my my Gurhim first fight ba uh, battle time. However, I will try. And also, I'm not going to be using potions with this either. I will be showing off at the end of this episode what G the Guardian Potion Plus does, but for all intents of and purposes, I am doing this with the hearts that you guys see on the upper left side of the screen. I will be doing these battles separately. I will be quitting and re-entering the lightning round every single after every single battle, just so that I don't have to um, I don't have to deal with cutting and a lot of editing. Also, you guys seeing my heart gauge jump around as you see me do the second battle a long time, uh, really far into the thing, so my heart gauge doesn't keep jumping up and down. So, now, let me establish the rules for this. I'm not going to be using potions unless I die. So if I get a game over, that will be the point where I say, okay, I am not able to finish the lightning round in one go with the heart gauges I have, so I'm going to just have fun and use the all of both of my potions so that you guys can enjoy seeing me be invincible and seek my exact my revenge upon my foes but for all intents and, pur and purposes i might as well be doing this in one go doing consecutive battles because i will not be healing in between battles now there's there's one stipulation for this rule i i don't like the fact that when you go into the lightning round if you have life medals, I don't have them here, but if you have life medals that add heart containers to your gauge, they, those don't count. So you actually cannot go into the lightning round at your full strength. You can't go there in there with 20 hearts. Because of this, if there is a point where I lose a good amount of hearts, in between battles, I will heal myself of two hearts, just two, so that it's, it feels as if I actually have a full heart gauge. So, with those rules out of the way, let's go ahead and jump on in. Now, this this episode, I will be dedicating to show showing some of the fast ways to beat some of the bosses. Since, obviously, a lot of them, when we fought them for, at first, we did not have this sword. Yes, I'm playing this in my hero mode file. And, because I, don't ha I didn't have that sword then, I get to show you guys me battling them now. And show you guys how powerful Link has become. So, let's go ahead and jump on in. Also, there are certain shortcuts in some of the battles that I just didn't show because one, I just didn't know how to do them, or two, I just didn't want to use them because it really broke up the tension of the fight. There's one in the Demise battle that I bet you guys know I'm referring to if you played this game, and I'm going to be showing that today. But, yeah, that's that's it. So, let's go ahead and jump into the Gurahim battle, or sorry, the Gurahim battle since it's his first phase. Let's go ahead and jump on in. Alright, the Gurham battle. What you want to do to start off is... You want to... Oh, snap. Well, I didn't break my record, I know that. Um, there's a thing called uh, spin attack buffering, where you can do a swing of your sword and then immediately shake the nunchuck to do a... Come on. Block. There we go. Uh, you can swing your sword, and then halfway through the swing, you can shake the nunchuck, and by doing that, you can actually, there we go, you can actually, um, do a spin tack that has three hits. There we go. I, I got a bad time here, but that's fine. Alright, Scaldera, what you want to do is as soon as the battle starts, you want to stand your ground and toss a bomb right, as, right at him. 
then chase him down. Now, once again, I'm not healing in between battles, so this is as if I'm doing them consecutively, because I kind of am. Next, you want to charge up Skyward Strike, and you want to do vertical spin tacks only, because if you do a horizontal one, he will stop it with his armor. Now, if you do it right, he should immediately enter the second phase and roll back down. Run to the other side and chase him down to the beginning. And then he will suck up some air again, and also a bomb. Go ahead and get another Skyward Strike, and there it is, and there it is! 38-16. That is a very good time. On to the next battle, which is Moldorak. Alright, Moldorak. He's given me some trouble in the past, though I have devised a strategy for defeating him. There we go, and what you want to do is, gradually over the course of the fight, is you want to back him up against the wall. There we go. Just close in. And if he... Oh, oh that was close. That was super close. Okay, you want to back him up against the wall, and backflip, and hit him there. You want to make sure that he is directly against the wall. Backflip. There we go. Break one of his claws. Now spin back up. Come on. There we go. And it's going to open up again. A couple more hits, and that claw's gone. One more hit, probably. There we go. Now, what you want to do is just keep stabbing his eye. Back him up against the wall, and he cannot go back into the ground and retreat and you can immediately just finish off his second phase. There we go. That was very good. I will be putting up the world records for these on screen. All right, starting off with the imprisoned was, you're just going to go and hit his front toes, go around, hit his back toe, jump attack on this one, and circle around to hit these ones. There we go. Now, what I was saying, in the, uh, what was that, the Moldorak battle is, I think it was the Moldorak battle, is I'm going to be putting it on screen at the end of every boss battle the time of the best record I can find. So the world record or whichever the best record I can find is. So that will be a nice nod to the competitive and speedrunning community because as, oh, as a part of the Smash competitive community myself, I know that sometimes they're neglected. Now, what you want to do is at the first phase, you want to go up in the upper spout and just align yourself so that when he pops up and pops his spike out, you can land right on him. Hopefully, I won't miss. Hopefully. Please don't miss. Okay, here I am. Good. Here we go. I almost fell off. That was close. Here I am, and good. Now he's going to fall down again. I'm going to go ahead and go in the upper upper spout one more time. And hopefully I can land on him. Hopefully. Let's go ahead and spin around and follow him. I don't think I am. Let me go over here. There we go. Let me run and chase and chase after him. Hopefully I can catch him in time. Good, I think I can. Good. I'm pretty close, so I can just do like a running jump attack. Now, on all of the phases, well, except all of the battles, except the third one, you can do a running jump attack, and if you hit the spike, he can't knock you off, so that's really neat. Uh, let me do this, or jump. There we go. There we go, and done. 1 minute, 11 seconds, point four three. That is extremely good for my standards. It's 20 seconds shaved off my time, and once again, the world record or as close as I can to it, I'll put on screen right now and I'll credit them. So there you go. All right, Kaluktos. We haven't lost health, health yet, which I'm really happy about. Um, starting off, we just want to lure hits out of him and I missed, snap, that's bad. Hit me again. There we go. I, I get too much too out of his range because he's a really intimidating boss. I mean, he's really scary. Run! Oh, that was close. That was extremely close. I got cocky there. 
All right, let me grab my sword, and there we go. His first phase is done. Now, I've discovered something about Kalectos that is very interesting, which I'm maybe everybody knows this, but for me, it's interesting. I discovered it on my own. And, whoa, and that is, is he has individual HP on each of his phases. And so, like, it doesn't really matter that you have a more powerful sword because you're just going to be taking him out in phases anyway. You're, you, you can't make it go any faster. And man, he's fast. I don't remember him being this fast. Oh, that was close. I'm so glad that I thought to grab my shield there. There we go. And his next phase. I am so glad that I grabbed my shield there. I just did it out of reflex. And my reflex was really, really good. All right, this is his third phase, and for this, he's going to take himself out of this. It's really interesting also, he has six phases, and he also has six arms. I like the parallels that they're drawing here. Good on you, designers. Now, I had talked about how he's like, he's a riff off of, of the goddess Akuma in like Buddhist mythology, and they, they went a couple steps further. They made it so he has six phases and he has six arms. That's really interesting. They, they made this boss, like, extremely cultural, and I like that Nintendo did that. They did that with, um, oh, what is it? With, with, uh, hmm, uh, Pokemon X. Yeah, I couldn't think of the name. They did that with Pokemon X as well. They made it, like, really cultural and shout out to a bunch of things. I really like that. Now, run! Oh, that was close. Also, I had a voice crack there. I don't like those. Uh, he's cornering me in a round room, which is impossible. You want to know if, how smart someone is? Uh, put them in a round room and tell them to find the north corner. All right, uh, he's going to summon his first Bakoblins. I really I like doing um, spin attacks right when he brings those out because then it will protect you in case they spawn like right on top of you. Let me go ahead and grab his sword and take out his leg. And, oh snap, no, pick up the sword. I dropped it too early. Uh, let me just do damage with the sword. I, I like what I like doing best is dropping the swords and then attacking him with mine because I believe mine is more powerful because it's the true master sword. I'm not sure, but I, I'm fairly certain. So I like doing that, but I did it too early. That is what we in the competitive community, well, not the competitive community, but the Smash community like to call tech error. I'm not trying to brag or anything like I'm in this competitive community, but I brought that up earlier and I thought that I should mention it. Alright, he's going to bring his Curse Baka Blins. Spin attack to kill them off and lure him. Uh, he's going to do that twice, okay. And he put one behind me, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, whoa! That was so close, I could not see him there. He's hard. I think he's... I feel like he's harder than when I first faced him. Uh, spin attack, and... Okay, I, is this his last phase, or is this his... I think I missed a phase. I, I'm not doing this battle very well, though I'm fine with that, because I haven't lost any hearts, so... I, I know I'm not getting a very good time, but I haven't lost any hearts, and that's really all that matters. Run. Okay. Now he's going to summon his, his guys, his cursed Bokblins. I found if you get too close to him... He'll spawn the behind him, and that is not good. There we go. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. There we go. Oh, you fell for it. Just like you have all the time. Now, he may be powerful, but he does not have a good, a good brain. Come on. Break this, and hit him, and there we go. I got a better time, though. Oh, actually, no. Actually, that, that's a good time. Okay, I broke my record still. All right, I'm happy with that time. Not too terribly horrible. Man, that boss is creepy. And world record. All right, Tantalus. I remember this Joker. Now, because we have the powered up Skyward Strike, this should be much, much easier. Of course, as soon as I say that, I'm probably going to fail really hard. Okay, let me hit him, and... Oh, there we go. Uh, nope, he still has his arms out. Or tentacles. There we go. Now he's going to pull in. Now he's always going to appear in the front for the first phase. 
I know this. There he is. Hello. You big ugly. Open your eyes. Oh, I totally hit your eye there. Oh, come on. There we go. Good. Charge up Scarred Strike. Now do vertical attacks, not horizontal, because of the recoil. There we go. And go ahead and get charge up a Skyward Strike. Uh, no, I'm gonna charge that again. There we go. Now, come on. Hit me with your best. Hello. Run! Okay, I that didn't register and it didn't charge. There we go. Pull your tentacles in soon, please. Run! How did I not hit him there? Come on, I'm hit, I'm charging it up. There we go. Ugh. The Wiimote was not responding there at all. All right, he's going to be here on the left. Finally, that's what I've been waiting for you to do every time I fight you. Uh, run. There we go. Good shot, by the way, Paladin. Thank you, pal. You're my pal. Let me go ahead and hit him because I, I feel the need to give myself a confidence boost. Now, real quick, let me cut because I'm going to sync the Wiimote. All right, I was feeling like it was being a little bit wonky there, and it was. Like, it was being really wonky. It was not charging up Skyward Strikes. It was just being horrible. All right, now that he's doing this, let me go ahead and do this and charge up another one. Hit, swing it that way. I thought it was going to hit someone. Uh, there we go. I think I killed a couple, and there we go. That should be it. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Hit him. Done. Okay, now for his last phase of the first half, he will always appear in the front. Go ahead and charge up a air, an arrow. There we go. Good shot. All right, now he's going to appear here, and let me go ahead and end his first phase. There we go. Very good. How on earth did I get two minutes and 40 seconds in my, in my private time? That is amazing. I want to know what secret I used there. All right, uh, he's going to knock down the box, and we're going to have to play a little bit of Donkey Kong. Ow! Oh, I thought I got hit there. I didn't. Oh, that's very good. Okay. I'm a little bit tense because of all the battles, I feel like this one is most likely to um, make me lose my first heart. Now, uh, at random times, if I feel like the remote is not acting up, I will cut and sink it. So... Yeah, if you see a little cut, that's because I just synced it. Now, let me go ahead and hit his eye and charge up Skyward Strike because you get the free hit right here. There we go. Uh, is the Wiimote still working? It is. Okay. I feel like I could stand right here because then I'm closer. There we go. Swing. And swing, 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 swing. Come on. Do not fail me now. Do not fail me now. Oh, there's more. Oh, snap. I didn't see those. Jerks. Okay, bow, there we go. I feel like the Wiimote is acting up, though I haven't done anything, and also I lost my first heart, so I'm not happy about that. I want him to die. Ugh, that boss is so annoying. I thought he was done. Okay, lost one heart, though that's fine. Nothing too bad. Good riddance. Okay, cure him. Now what you want to do is hold your sword left and, or I mean right, and then swing left, and you can take care of his first phase of the second half quickly. There we go. He's going to spawn four this time, and I'm going to cut. There we go, and my sword descends again. Now, come on. There we go. Now he's going to, and that, his, his second phase of the first half is really fast. Like, you only have to hit him once, which is interesting. Okay. There we go. Good good damage. Um. Oh, that was close. Back foot. Okay. Now your cue for when he jumps up. And I'm sorry for going silent there, but your cue for when he jumps up is um, when you hear the little ching, that's what you do. And, okay, last one. Go ahead and dodge this. There we go. And, no, not again, Gurham. There we go. When you hear the ching, I can do damage. Good. Okay. Come on, hit me. Ow. Okay, first two hearts. I mean, next two hearts. 
There we go. There we go. 117.39. They're not bad. Not bad. All right, the second imprisoned battle. This one is hard as hardness. Now, what you want to do is immediately go in the spout and circle around and run up to catch up with him. That is exactly what you want to do, and you should be able to catch up with him by the time you can jump up on him, by the time the platform is high enough for that. Now, let's go ahead and jump up. And there we go, and there's his first phase. Now, the second phase, he is almost at the point where he will try to climb up for the first time. Now, when he does this, you want to meet him up there so you can destroy his fingers and jump on his head. All right, let me go ahead and jump up. Now, he's going to reach up his hand any second now to try, and there it is, to try and get up there. And that is your cue to jump to hit his fingers. All right. Now, Bruce is going to come up and be like, Link, bro, bomb, dog. And then I'm going to be like, no, because I've heard you say this three times, and I don't care. There we go. Run and catch up with his other hand as if it's running and hit this. There we go. And he will fall down. And that is my cue. He's going to hit us with his arm. Hit with the arm. There we go. And that is your cue to jump up. There we go. And next, he's going to, I believe he's going to fall frontwards. Yes, he is. Now, that is your cue to jump up here. Turn left, right, and jump up this way and wait for him to exit that phase because then you can hit him with a bomb and jump on top of him. Now, where is he? He's over here. Is he almost done? Uh, no, he's not. Let me run up here. Cutscene. Is he done? Let's try to keep up with him as best as we can. All the way up here, and he's almost... Yeah, okay, he's done. Let's get Groose out, and... Now, I shouldn't have pressed Groose, because I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with Groose or with Link. So, that is bad. Okay, no, with Groose. Okay, hit him. And there we go, and I'm right next to him with Link, so I can just jump on top of him and finish him off. And yes, I know he packs a mean punch, bro dog. But no, you're... No. I, I know. I know G. Who's G? I don't know. Everyone but me, I guess. There we go. And he's dead. And I've been talking very strangely this this match. This fight. I have no idea why. One, 14006. If there were any of the boss battles that would cause me to take a lot of damage, this was probably the one. And this one's gone, so let's move on to the last four battles with confidence. And we're following up an imprisoned battle with an imprisoned battle. What you want to do starting off is you want to jump up here and you want to, well, this is how I do it, and you want to come all the way back here and land in front of him. Then you want to have Groose hit him so you can jump on his head. I find this to be the easiest and the best way. There are probably other ways, but I haven't found them. All right, let's go ahead and run up here. Have Groose um, gr hit him. I don't want to do it from here. Keep going, Groose. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Done. Drop the bomb and hit him. Now, really, in all honesty, the Bilocyte battle should be in between the Imprisoned battles. Though, for some reason... Oh, I almost didn't make it. For some reason, they didn't see fit to include that in the lightning round. My guess is, is because then they'd have to uh, come up with another set of, of boss selections uh, just for Demise. But they could have done that. I really wish Bilocyte was in these things. But he's not, and it's kind of dumb. Now, for the second phase of this battle, you, you want to um, you want to head right to the center, uh, the bottom center of the map, right here. And I believe you want to be right here, I believe. That's the best place. Now, let's go ahead and peg him with the bomb. He's going to fall to the ground, and then we can meet him and end his second phase. And then next is the third phase that we all know and love. And that is uh, the one where we have to climb up there. 
Is that it? Man, I thought I was gonna put up more of a fight. Somebody should really thank the genius who made this machine. Okay, Link, it's time for you to sh go show Big Ugly who's boss. Okay, let me do that. Let me speed talk over here as I run over here, and it seems like I'm on fast forward, but I'm actually not, and let's defeat him. Again, <laughs> the person battle brings out the weird in me, bro. I even said bro. That's extremely strange for me. Maybe I'm just channeling my inner dog. That should be a thing. All right, he's going to find that his bomb supply is gone, and let me climb up. Yes, come up to the temple and make your way up here. Hustle up. Uh, thank goodness my beacons are still here because this is my hero mode log, and I left them here just for when I do this battle. All right, let me jump up here, do a jump attack, and there we go. Restore stamina on the way up, and let's run over to Groose. Groose, sup? What, what do you have in mind, even though I know, because I've done this multiple times? Actually, I don't even need to talk to him. I can just get in the spoon. Groose, I know what you're saying. I'll just get in the spoon. Most logical thing. All right, hopefully I don't miss. That'd be funny. Uh, oh, that was close. I'm right on his snout. And there we go. 134.83. That is extremely good. Although the world record probably knocks my time out of the park, which actually would be funny if in post I discovered that I broke one of the world records. That would be hilarious, and I would be so happy. And I have to do sound effects for this. All right, what I've been dreading, the horde battle. Let me go ahead and run on through here. Now I'm doing the fast way, and the fast way is just to keep running. I stood it there, but that's fine. Uh, I just keep running, and actually, I believe the Bokoblins will despawn behind you because the Wii can't handle this many models on screen, or not on screen, but being rendered at a time. So, some of these should despawn, although I don't think that they will for this battle because they're so close in such close proximity as before he'll summon five captains now you just want to get in the corner and uh do spin attacks when you're unsure if you can defeat them all if you're getting feeling crowded just do that and if you feel like they're behind you go ahead and do spin attacks though really watch your stamina uh there we go and he is dead and there we go let me sync my wiimote there we go and let's continue running now here are the Bomba blends. <laughs> so let me just bypass them. I've been trying to think of a pun for them for so long, and I'm surprised that Bomba Blin wasn't the first thing that came to mind. Okay, let me bypass these guys and roll. Now they can swarm you, and if they hit you, they will do a ton of damage. All right. Ah, oh, snap! I did this one wrong. Yep. Okay. Well, there is a sequence break here that I missed. This was. I've tried to do this one for literally years, but I've never been able to do it ever and that one is um you can when those uh big big moblins uh spawn you can actually uh place it it just oh my word you jerk there we go okay that surprised me oh my word. Ugh. oh my ice land in a bottle okay uh let me get my shield ready 
Now, what I was saying is you can you can have those guys spawn in just a way where you can um where you can climb up their shield like you can with the metal blinds and you can just jump over that barrier there and skip like half of the area. But I did not do that. So, yeah, that's sad. Okay, let me run over here and hit him. Now, these guys I'll take out with bombs. Hopefully, I made it. No, I didn't. Okay, let me just keep running. Uh, keep running, and you can bypass the archers extremely easily. Hopefully, those guys will despawn behind me. Uh, uh, I'm so scared that these guys are going to hurt me. Uh, run. There we go. Uh, hit, the st hit up that stamina fruit. Now, these guys are... Oh, that's bad. Uh, as soon as the, the uh, blue moblin spawns, I'm going to run. Run. And there we go. Uh, do this. Hit them. I can't see. There we go. Oh my word, you jerk! I hate. You. Ugh. Die. Rage. Rage. There. Ugh. Lost so many hearts here. Okay, there's this guy. Just keep running by him, and they should despawn. I've been saying that the whole time, though. I'm not confident that I'm actually right. I just think that I'm just spewing nonsense. Okay, let me keep going here. Uh, there's another one. Let me just bypass these guys and keep on running. Circle through these guys, and these are the Stalfos? Yeah, the Stalfos. Okay. So let me get in my corner here. You're in my corner. Uh, my back's to them, and that's bad. Ow! There we go. Okay. There we go. I did some damage. Die, 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 die. Okay, you. You, please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Uh, whip, 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 whip. Where are you? Uh, I want to hit you. There we go. Thank you. Oh, those guys are so annoying. Okay, let me continue to run. I'm hoping that I won't lose too much health. Hoping, hoping, hoping. Okay, let me continue to run and bypass those guys. There's a blue one right there, which I'm frightened of. Let me grab this. I, he can't catch up if I just keep running. Um, actually, there are the shield moblins here. Though, I feel... Oh, that's amazing. I feel that if I keep running, they can't catch up. And I'm fairly certain that I'm right. Fairly certain. Hopefully, that'll make up for lost time. Now, let me go ahead and charge up Skyward Strike and kill all of these Bokoblins. Hope Well, not in one go, though I will kill, like, half of them in one go. And, oh, there's 25. Oh, there's 50. All right. Let me grab this. And there we go. A lot of lag with the Nintendo Wii because it isn't powerful enough to handle this many enemies. Uh, Scarred Strike, please. There we go. And spin attack. Aw, oh, you died. Gurr him. It's over. Oh. Wow. All right, Gurahim. Starting off here, you want to be really aggressive. There we go, and there we go. And you can get him off in less than seven seconds. I did seven, but that's just because I didn't shield back. Now just do a a finishing blow from buff. You can hit him if you want. In fact, I'll do that to sink my Wiimote. There we go. Go ahead and take your time with this. There we go. And there you go, 24 seconds, that's very good. And let me finish and blow him again. And is this, is the beacon going through this area? Actually, can I place beacons? I can. I'm placing a beacon right where I am. There we go. There's a beacon on here. There we go. Hit, 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 done. And he's gonna fall down and Finishing blow. Nero. Wrong. Very nice. Now he's going to breathe hard and he's going to summon a sword because that's what he does. I'm angry. Sword. I really like his voice. It's really cool. Hit me. Hit me. Stab and... Uh, stab. 
and I'm gonna, do the, I'm gonna play this game. There we go. And stab, stab, stab. Next phase. He's going to enter the third and final phase. Let's finish him out. You wretched brat. That was cool. <laughs> I, I comment how my voice is cool. And... Oh, snap. Uh, he's going to do that. Wow, how did I get... How did I get that time? There we go. How did how on earth did I get that time? That's amazing. One minute eleven seconds? How did I do that? Now, demise. Let me go ahead and show you guys something. None of these items work on him except for one. Whee! And that is the bug net. Yes, the bug net works on him. Um, that's surprising. If you try to circumvent him, though, uh, he will swing, but otherwise he won't hurt you, so that's really neat. Now, let me show off the actual battle. Ice. Okay, let me do that, try that again. There we go. Ow. Okay, let me try that again. Concentrating. Ow. Um, okay. I'm not doing very well. Oh, that was cool. And block and spin attack. There we go. Second phase. Very good. Now, second phase, he'll just do what he did before. And that is Thunderstrike. <laughs> Take off sunglasses. I guess we could say we st stole his thunder. Oh, uh, um, wow. Didn't expect that one. Well, I kind of did. You know what? Let's continue. All right, take two of the Demise Battle. This time, I have potions. Now, I'm invincible when I have this potion, so let me just hit him. Now, I'm probably not going to get hit here now that I have the potion. That's usually how it is. I'm just going to concentrate, and concentration will be my first priority. There we go. First phase, 17 seconds. Next phase, I have no idea how many. All right, he's going to do that. Now I'm going to approach him and not go for the Skyward Strike, uh, the Thunder Strikes myself. Whoa, backflip, okay. Hit me. Done. One minute, 22 seconds. Very good. That is, I think, one of the best times I've ever gotten. I know, though, that the world record, I believe, is 30 seconds, and that's insane. But that's the best time I've ever gotten. Now, the episode isn't quite over. I have to go through the credits. Now, I'm not talking about... Uh, I'm not talking about the game's credits. I'm talking about my credits. Now, while I do that, I'm going to be showing something else. I'm going to be going into the horde battle so you guys can see, you know, me with the invincible potion so you can get a get a good look on what they do in case you don't you haven't seen enough and you want to see me play around with them. So, let me go ahead and enter here and I will start my credits. Now, 
I'm going to turn down the volume of the game because I'm going to be putting some music to this. I don't know how long my credits are going to be, but I'm going to talk for maybe five minutes as I just, I, I just thank some people. So let me go ahead and enter the horde battle and let me end this LP out properly. Game's audio is going all the way down and the music is going up. Once again, just let me elaborate how much of an adventure this has been for me. I went from knowing almost nothing about video editing or recording things or even commentary to being what I am today, which is someone who's a little bit more confident about himself. Now, I'm really glad to say that I started out with some of the best equipment that's used. I mean, I started out with equipment that some of the major LPers still use, and because I started out with this, I think it was I was able to have you guys, the viewers, be able to get a little bit more invested in my channel. I'm not a, I wasn't a beginning channel that not only didn't commentate that well, but also my my equipment was horrible, so you guys didn't get any quality at all. You guys just had to see me rough and uncut, and you guys just had to trust that I would be fashioned into something that was going to be great. But I didn't have to deal with that as much because I started out with some of the best equipment possible. The Elgato Gaming Capture is an amazing device. If you guys are going to start LPing and you want to know what device, what equipment to get, I highly recommend almost all of the equipment that I've gotten. I mean, outside of the satellite laptop and the Windows 7 Live Movie Maker, all of my equipment and software is almost top of the line. It's extremely good, and I don't have that many complaints about it. Nothing that would merit you not getting it. So, I'm really, really glad I started out with this equipment. And I'm really glad that I started out at all. It's been a great experience for me, both with learning how to video edit and commentate, which I knew nothing about either, to being what I am today. And that is someone who's more confident in his abilities of editing and just normal speaking. I'm really glad that this that I did this. It's a very good experience. Now, for Photoshop, I mean for not Photoshop, for assistance, I would really like to thank Ryan Young, who has done almost all of my Photoshop work outside of the thumbnails. I did those. But he did all of the channel art for Pikmin and this game and Supernova, my sister. She helped me figure out Photoshop because I'd never used it before at all. So I'm really helpful. Uh, I'm really happy about that. She was very helpful. Now, Ryan, of course, appeared on Pals Play. Now, he's not the only guest I want to have on this channel. I do want to have other people, but he's the only one that's been that's appeared thus far. So thanks, Ryan, for doing that. As for technical help, I really want to thank my dad, Papa Pal, as you see in the credits, because he paid for the entire price of my CyberPower uh, PC Stealth Raider. And that was a good $1,300, so thank you. Also, for Ryan for helping me with some of the technical aspects, and also Steven George from Steven Vlog. He really helped me out with some of the beginning things, beginning problems that I had, aspect ratio and editing, stuff like that. Thank you, Steven George, for that. Now, my channel's grown a lot in the four months that I have been doing this LP. Now, these credits are both for the Pikmin LP and this, because the Pikmin LP is ran within the duration of this game, so they count for both. You guys have been incredibly supportive, and I want to thank Matrix Tunnel for some advice when I was buying, uh, figuring out what computer I should purchase, other stuff as well. I really thank him for that. Uh, Chizurm3, he helped me before my channel even began, before I even signed in with YouTube for the first time. He helped me to come up with a name for the channel. He was my first friend on Smashboards, and, you know, he's he's lent some incredible support and thank you Chizurm for doing that now my mom has has lent incredible moral support as 
I, I panicked at times, and sometimes the pressure kind of got to me, and she was there for me to lean on, not literally, because I think she would fall down, but, <laughs> but she's been there for me to lean on emotionally. Ryan as well. He's, he's been an incredible help throughout this LP. I really, really am grateful to all the people that I show in the credits. Uh, the friends group on Smashboards were my first group of friends on Smashboards, which Smashboards was like my first social media ever. So thank you guys for helping me out with that. Now Steven George again, because without him, I would not be LPing now. He suggested over half of the equipment that I have now, and I really thank him for that. He is the reason why I LP. He, he was just a great example to me. And thank you, Steven, for doing that. He's, he has started so many channels out just by being there and by being a very good uh, entity on YouTube. Now, all that aside, let me apologize for one thing. Um, I had mentioned, I'm not sure which episode I would mentioned it in, but I said that Okami was going to be a while. Sorry. Yes, the L next LP is Okami. I didn't say that, but yes, it is Okami. And I mentioned that it's going to be a while before that LP airs, and I want to change that, because I said that I was going to record some PALS play, but I actually wasn't able to do that, because my computer, I still record the satellite PC, because it's, it is a laptop, and I'm able to have it stay mobile. So, I recorded that, and midway through the PALS play, I lost the recording because I ran out of hard drive space. So, because of that, I'm incredibly sorry that that happened. I am going to be trying to bring Okami to you earlier, maybe a week or two weeks earlier. So, yeah, because I wasn't able to bring it to you, uh, bring Pals Play to you. So, yeah, Okami is the next LP. I'm extremely excited about it, and most of the ph Photoshop work is done for that. There is a ton of work because I have to have all the annotation videos for all of the collectibles. So, that's going to be an adventure in and of itself. Also, I, I mentioned at the end of Pikmin that I wanted to stretch my LP muscle, pr proverbial LP muscle, and I am going to do that. I want to, well, for this LP and for Pikmin, I was having the Elgato record both my commentary and the game's audio and splice it together. Now, I don't want to do that because there have been many recordings that have been lost just because the the game's audio is too high, or my commentary's volume was too low. So I would like to challenge myself in that respect so I don't have to, ha to have as many failed takes. So, and also I can edit the commentary after I record it. So I'll be installing Audacity on my computer so I can do that. So, the next LP is going to really stretch my muscle, and I'm going to learn a lot from that. I want to do that with every LP. I want every LP to be a big learning experience and for me to do something brand new with it. I want to challenge myself, because I want this to be a learning experience for myself and for you guys, because I'm, I'm keeping you guys invested in my technical, technical info more so than most other LPers, so you guys can learn along with me. So, I'm, Ryan and I are working to bring, El, uh, to bring Okami to fruition. I hope you guys are patient with us. Now. Thank you guys so much for watching this LP. I hope you continue to watch more Gutter Speak free LPs here on Pal Plays, where I, Paladin, play through games for your guys' edutainment. I'll see you guys next time for Pal Plays Okami.
Skyward Sword is done. Oh, yeah, yeah, Skyward Sword is done. Yeah, 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 Skyward Sword is done. Skyward Sword is done. Skyward Sword, Skyward Sword is done. Skyward Sword, Skyward Sword is done. Skyward Sword, Skyward Sword is done. Oh, finally, it's done. Ho, 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 yeah, ha, 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 he, he. He 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 Skyward Sword is done. Ha ha ha. Hurrah! Yeah.